everyone good morning from chikmagaluru i honestly don't know how to pronounce it because all the people i've met who are from chikmagaluru has said chikmagaluru or at least that's how i've heard it so i don't know if it's chikmagaluru or like the spelling says is chikmagaluru either way it's a very pretty place and today uh, is day 2 of staying here and today we've planned to go a little bit of sightseeing go for a little bit of sightseeing but we're not going to the most famous places like muliyangiri baba something i'm sorry i don't remember uh but yeah i am not going to those places today because for a fact it's going to be crowded because it's a sunday and it is diwali weekend so it's going to be really really crowded so we're going to go to a z point that is not close by it's around 30 kilometers away but we're going to go to that place and not in the mood for trekking none of us are i've been sneezing like crazy and my parents obviously don't want to trek so let's see how this goes so we're just going to go there have a nice time and honestly you don't feel like leaving this resort because there are so many things to you know look around and see because mainly we just came here to like relax and stuff but even then since we came all the way here we thought we'll go check the z point and also uh, unfortunately we came a little late um, there were neelakurunji blooms here like crazy literally in almost all the peaks here but then uh, the local lights mentioned that it would have already dried up so and it's going to be super super crowded because people are coming for neelakurunji so they mentioned that it's going to be a very underwhelming experience if we go there so what we're going to do is we're going to cancel all that and just do our own thing So let's go. excited we were under the peak like the peak was a little more on top and we noticed that hebe falls is also right there and to go to hebe falls also you have to go in a jeep and it's kind of an off roading journey and we cancel that we didn't go for that i'll explain why later but yeah as long as prices go it is 400 rupees per person and 10 people will fit in a jeep so that's how the stats go there Instead of that, we went to Kemen Gudi directly, and yes, cars will go there. Even auto rickshaws go there. Um, the road was pretty smooth enough. At some place was it was not that great. Uh, this is a resort right uh, at the foothills of Kemen Gudi, and the road to Kemen Gudi was very very pretty. There is a small parking ticket that you have to pay. It's one penny rupees. And yeah, we were just going. There's also like a PWD headquarters on the hill, like. almost on top of the hill there are public washroom so yeah they've kind of maintained it really really well and the road like i said is filled with scenery and a lot of monkeys let me tell you so i'd advise don't eat on the trip and yeah if you are going in a car then maybe keep your window shut because yeah there were all kinds of monkeys from little babies to big bude monkeys yeah but it was kind of fun and i would say don't listen to the people who were standing on the road because it was kind of uh, i fe- felt like they were not giving us the honest opinion so yeah once we reach there this is what we were looking at let's take a look Thank you. 
sunrise slash sunset point of Kemangundi and it is absolutely beautiful. We reached a little late for sunset, sunrise and a little early for sunset. It's actually just 10 o'clock right now. And yeah, that's the reason why it's not too crowded. So we can just we can just really sink in all the merchandise that this place has to offer. And it's so pretty. Came to sit down. People from Hebe Falls really wanted us to get inside the Jeep and then go with them. But the Jeep has to have 10 people because it's off-roading and we're, we were only 3 people. So we chose not to go because we had to go with strangers which means that when we come back also we can't come back at our own time. And we were guessing that strangers would want to, you know, people would essentially want to spend a lot of time there. We didn't want to do that so we cancelled that and instead we came here to the sunset point and it is so beautiful. Like honestly, and the breeze is just really cold, less people, actually very nice. After sitting there for quite some time and spending some quality time, we decided to go down again from Kenman Gundi Peak. And yes, one thing I really liked about the place where the arrangements of flowers they had, like look at this one, this one's purple. So yeah, we left. Apparently there's going to be cheetahs here so let's be really careful but there's a waterfall very very pretty waterfall if i see a some kind of cheetah panther or something here i don't know what to do but glory look at this so pretty i could go there but i don't want to because i don't want to die so pretty no, but genuinely, I feel like hidden spots like these are the best part about just coming to Western Guts. And I, I like viewpoints, but stuff like this just makes my day. And road trip is totally worth it if you find stuff like this. That's my opinion. And I'm gonna run into the car before I encounter some kind of animal. And after a lot of sightseeing, it was time for us to go back. We had to pass several small villages on our way back to the resort. And this was one of those villages. And I think they were having some kind of Sunday market thing. And yeah, it was really fun to watch. There were so many vegetables, so many people, so many bangle collections and uh, dresses and snacks and everything. It really felt like we were taken back in time. And that's exactly what we needed, uh, a runaway situation from the city life. And this was perfect. This was exactly what we wanted. And this felt like a successful trip just because of how these villages were situated and how the people there uh, were celebrating. And yes, once more through the scenic route that Tik Maglur had to offer, we set back to the resort. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really, really enjoyed this whole trip. And there's one more video coming up, hopefully. And yeah, that's all from me this time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.